As of yesterday, a recent graduate of LSUA, Chris Tamplett, has officially signed off from campus. But over the seasons of baseball, he switched out one uniform for the other. They, they were unsure. They didn't, they didn't know if I'd ever play the game again. Better yet, ever walk again. And it was more of like the determination of like proving everybody that supported me right. It wasn't to prove anybody wrong. The date was February 18, 2018. The Generals were on the road in Batesville, Arkansas, playing their last game of a triple header. With a close game on the line, Chris, in the outfield, dove for the ball when he collided head on into the wall. And when I left my feet, I actually left my feet prior to touching the warning track, so I didn't realize how close I was actually to the wall. And then I ended up going head first into the wall. And then at first, uh, for about the first eight, four hours, I was paralyzed from the neck down. In the beginning stages of seeking help, Chris says that medical professionals weren't sure of his future. He wasn't getting direct answers on whether he would be able to play again or even walk again. At that time, they couldn't really give me any answers. They didn't know if I would ever walk again. They didn't really know what was wrong with me. In between his faith, support from loved ones, and rehab specialists, Chris was able to see the miracles happen. I just gave it all to God. Like, I turned and gave it to God and was like, you know what, I want you to take control of this. If you want me to be in a wheelchair, then I'm going to be in a wheelchair the rest of my life. And I'm just going to embrace it and still spread your love, spread your word. And then whenever I gave my life over to God during the time of need, like, that's whenever I, I saw, like, miracles start happening. Like, I was able to get sensation from the waist up. I was able he to... began to slowly regain feeling in his body, which eventually allowed for his return to the field later that year in August, but also returned to serving his community. I work uh, uniform patrol. Which I'm on. I'm on the streets. I answer anywhere from traffic stops to domestic violence to civil disputes. Um, it it ranges from anywhere. With the degree behind his name, Chris is now able to fully focus on patrolling and protecting. One of the things to to be able to continue on the, the journey that I mean, I, I've been in school for five years for, but to be able to continue on that journey and being able to serve and protect and I take that serving word very, very seriously. Megan Glover, ABC, 31 Sports.